Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Mercedes-Benz joins the Tesla NAX coalition. The Tesla Cybertruck looks like a beast in the snow in New Zealand winter test videos. NHTSA asks Tesla for updated data amid autopilot probe. And Tesla lowers price of 7-seat Model Y in the US. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Last month, Mercedes-Benz stated that it was considering the adoption of Tesla's North American charging standard for its electric vehicles. Based on an announcement from the German luxury electric vehicle maker recently, it would appear that Mercedes-Benz has come to a decision about NAX. The automaker is joining the NAX coalition. As per the automaker, Mercedes-Benz's electric vehicles in North America will adopt Tesla's charging standard starting in 2025. This move follows the footsteps of American competitors Ford and General Motors, both of which have embraced the North American charging standard to improve their EV's charging options. Mercedes-Benz will be the first German automaker to integrate Tesla's charging standard for its North American customer base. The luxury car maker may not be alone for long, however, as discussions are underway for fellow German automaker Volkswagen to adopt the NAX as well, as noted in a Reuters report. To facilitate the transition, Mercedes-Benz will initially provide an adapter for its existing EVs, equipped with the combined charging system in North America. This adapter will enable the vehicles to charge on the NAX network, starting in 2024. CCS serves as a widely utilized plug for DC fast charging, serving as a competitor to Tesla's connectors. Interestingly enough, Tesla has already taken steps to extend its supercharger network to owners of CCS-equipped electric vehicles through the Magic Dock, which provides an adapter for non-Tesla cars. But while the Magic Dock is a novel solution for non-Teslas, to access the supercharger network, fully adopting the NAX is still a superior solution. Moving to the next update, the Tesla Cybertruck looks like a beast in the snow in New Zealand winter test videos. It appears that the Tesla Cybertruck would be quite a beast in the snow. This was hinted at in recent videos of the all-electric pickup truck taken at the Southern Hemisphere Proving Grounds (SHPG) in New Zealand. Last month, Tesla brought over the Cybertruck to New Zealand for winter tests. Images shared online suggested that two units of the all-electric pickup truck were at the site, one covered with a camouflage wrap and another in stainless steel. Both Cybertrucks, as well as Tesla's S3XY lineup, were also sited in the winter testing location. As per a previous video from Tesla, vehicles are sent over to the SHPG in New Zealand so that they can be winter tested in months like July, when it is summer in the United States. Considering the presence of Tesla's vehicle lineup in the area, it would not be surprising if another winter test feature gets shared by the company in the coming months. Thanks to the efforts of Tesla enthusiasts in New Zealand, some footage of the electric vehicle maker's winter tests has been shared online. These include snippets of the Cybertruck duo as they were being put through their paces in the snow. Based on the videos, at least, it appears that the all-electric pickup truck handles snowy roads and frigid conditions just fine. Over several videos, the two Cybertrucks could be seen being driven with some speed around the winter testing site. At one point, the camouflaged Cybertruck unit was briefly drifted on what seemed like icy roads. The vehicle remained stable, and its driver seemed to have no problem controlling the hulking all-electric pickup truck. With Cybertruck production expected to start in the coming months, it is pertinent for Tesla to finalize aspects of the vehicle. The Cybertruck, after all, will likely be used for a variety of purposes, from overlanding to actual work. Tesla must then ensure that the Cybertruck handles well in every terrain, including snow and ice. Fortunately, the short videos of the Cybertruck's winter tests at the SHPG suggest that the vehicle would be very capable during winter. Moving to the next update, NHTSA asks Tesla for updated data amid autopilot probe. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, 
has asked Tesla for updated data related to an ongoing investigation into 830,000 Tesla vehicles and the automaker's autopilot driver assist system. The NHTSA is investigating Tesla's driver assist system after it identified over a dozen crashes involving the feature and emergency vehicles. The agency is also investigating whether autopilot adequately ensures that drivers are paying attention while it is operating. The U.S. Auto Safety Agency sent a letter to Tesla on July 3 requesting updates to inquiries it had made in 2022. A copy of the letter made public by the agency indicates that it is demanding answers by July 19, as noted in a Reuters report. The new letter also seeks data on the number of vehicles equipped with Tesla Vision, which solely relies on cameras, instead of radar. The agency had previously inquired about Tesla's cabin camera, which is used to check driver attentiveness, while autopilot or FSD is engaged. Tesla has not shared a comment about the matter as of this video. Tesla's autopilot allows vehicles to automatically steer, accelerate, and brake within their designated lane, while enhanced autopilot provides Teslas with the capability to perform lane changes on highways. Tesla's full self-driving beta allows vehicles to navigate inner city streets. Despite these capabilities, autopilot, enhanced autopilot, and FSD beta do not make vehicles fully autonomous. In 2022, the NHTSA noted that 9 out of 11 vehicles in prior crashes exhibited no driver engagement, visual alerts, or audible alerts until just moments before a collision occurred. Four vehicles did not receive any visual or audible alerts at all during autopilot's final use cycle. Considering the nature of the NHTSA investigation, it is no surprise that the agency is seeking updated information on all changes made by Tesla regarding driver engagement or attentiveness. Moving to the last update, Tesla lowers price of 7-seat Model Y in the US. Tesla has updated the pricing of one configuration of the Model Y in the US, lowering the 7-seat version of the electric SUV. As you probably know by now, this change only impacts buyers in the US because Tesla no longer offers the Model Y with a third row in Canada. According to the online configurator, opting for the third row will now only set you back $2,500, as opposed to the $3,000 price tag the option was set at before. This is actually the second price drop in recent months for the seven-seat Model Y in the US, as it was priced at $4,000 earlier this year. The seven-seat option remains only available for the Model Y long-range variant. The all-wheel drive and performance has never been made available with a third row. Unfortunately with this price drop, Tesla has not added the third row option back to the Canadian Design Studio. The option was removed earlier this year when the automaker stopped sending Model Ys from Fremont to Canada, instead deciding to import them from China. That change also brought with it a number of other options that were removed, like the white interior and 20-inch induction wheels, which have since been reintroduced. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.